Okay, uh, good morning ladies and gentlemen. Uh, this is uh, Professor DBJ de los Reyes. Uh, this morning I will be presenting a random topic and this falls under the so-called study of uh, transcendental equations. Uh, it is uh, equations, uh, solution of equations uh, beyond ordinary. It's transcendental. Uh, we could say that uh, this problem uh, also come out or came out from the Olympiad math maybe. Okay, let's proceed. The title of the topic will be Solution of Transcendental Equation. Uh, transcendental equations are equations the the solution of which is not uh, an ordinary solution, it is uh, a higher mathematics uh, solution. Okay, uh, I'll try to bring out the problem. The problem is the x plus the square root of x is equal to 24. Uh, unluckily, the operation here is uh, addition. Because just in case the operation is a multiplication, that will be another story. Okay, the solution is much easier. And since the operation separating x and the square root of x is actually an addition, uh, whether you try the so-called uh, loss of exponent in the solution of this one, I, you could not do it. So I will be presenting a solution tonight Okay, uh, that emanates, the solution actually emanates from the so-called uh, Newton's method. And this is a topic on the so-called study of uh, advanced mathematics. Uh, this is uh, in consonance with the so-called Newton's method. Is, uh, the batch of this uh, solution is actually the so-called Maclaurin series of expansion. That's under higher mathematics. So for the solution of the one I'm presenting, I will be using the Newton's method. Okay. Okay, uh, let's try to bring out the solution. I will rewrite the given equation, right? This is x plus the square root of x is equal to 24. Okay. I will transpose this 24 to the left. So what will come out will be x plus the square root of x minus 24 and this should be equal to 0. Then I will try to represent f of x, meaning function of x, will be equal to this one here. Right? That will be my f of x. So I will place it here, function of x will be x plus the square root of x minus 24. Uh, what's the significance of f of x? This is actually equated to zero. The significance of this function of x, if we try to assume a value of x here, and if we try to simplify the right-hand side, if it comes out to be equal to zero, that will be our perfect solution. Okay, that will be our perfect solution. But just in case there is a value x here, and if we try to substitute it here, and if we try to take the simplification, and it is not equal to zero, not equal to zero, that's not the solution. So the markings of a correct solution will be, if we try to simplify after the substitution of the value of x, what will come out supposed to be zero for it to be the correct answer. Okay? It should not be not equal to zero. It should be equal to zero. Okay, uh, let's try to proceed with the solution. Let's try to take the first derivative of f of x. So the first derivative of f of x will be designated f prime of x, meaning the first derivative of x with respect to x. And this should be equal to. The first derivative of the right-hand side, we are differentiating with respect to x, right? So the, the derivative of x with respect to itself, that will be 1. And the derivative of the square root of x, uh, that's a special case under the so-called study of differentiation. 
uh, it will be dx. dx uh, will be 1 because we are differentiating with respect to x. 1. The numerator is actually 1. And the denominator will be twice the square root of x. Or actually you could differentiate this one by using the so-called power formula. Uh, because the square root of x is actually x raised to 1 half. The exponent is a pure constant, so we could use the ordinary differentiation formula for uh, exponential or power formula, since this is constant, because just in case this is a variable thing, that will be another story. Okay? So like what I said, if we try to differentiate this one by using this, the power formula, it will come out to be 1 over twice the square root x. And the derivative of 24 with respect to x, it's a pure constant, and that will be 0. If we try to simplify f prime of x, that will be 1 plus 1 over twice the square root of x. Actually, in the solution using the so-called Newton's method, we will be using this equation here. Okay? Uh, I will place back the original square root. Okay. and by using this equation here uh, because uh, Mr. Newton's formulated an equation on how to compute for the next uh, value after uh, assuming an initial value and uh, Mr. Newton's uh, formula is this one the second value will be the first value minus a uh, function of x1 over f prime of x1. Uh, what's the significance of this one? Like what I said, if we assume a first value and we try to substitute on f of x, if what comes out is zero, that will now be our correct answer. But just in case it is not zero, we can proceed with the next step in according to Mr. Newton's to find for the value of the uh, the next value of the correct answer we will be using this formula here so this is actually the formula formulated by Mr. Newton that is x of 2 will be x of 1 minus f of x of 1 over f prime of x of 1 ok uh, let's try to bring out the initial value for x uh, you can assume any value of x you like, but uh, the best thing to do this one here is actually to assume a value that is very near the correct answer. So in here, uh, a correct or uh, an intelligent, uh, what you call this, uh, guessing of the correct answer, we will assume x1 to be equal to 21. Okay? Why do you ask me, uh, why don't you ask if I, uh, why I choose 21? Because 21 is very near the correct answer. Because just in case uh, we will use 21, if we try to substitute 21 on f of x, okay, um, if x is 21, what will come out? 21 square root, that will be 4.5825 plus 21, right? Then we subtract 24, minus 24. What comes out is uh, there is a... The difference, the resulting equivalent of this one is uh, 1.5825. Okay. When we assume x1 to be equal to 21, f of x is 1.5825. It is not equal to 0. So meaning to say, our assumed value of 21 is actually very high. Higher than the correct answer. Okay, so supposed to be the correct value for x here is less than 21. And to find for that correct value, we will be using Newton's method formula. Okay, oh, so let's try to compute for x sub 2. x sub 2 uh, will be x sub 1, f of x sub 1 over f prime of x sub 1. Okay, uh, let's try to compute first for the value of function of x sub 1. Okay. Uh, function of x sub 1, that is when x is equal to 21, uh, I will place it here, f of 21. Okay. 
For this equation here, when x is equal to 21, that's why I place it here, f of 21, that will be equal to 21 plus the square root of 21 minus 24. Like what I said, the summation of this one is 25.58 minus 24. There is a difference of 1.5825. Okay. Uh, the solution will not stop here because f of 21 is not equal to 0. And the correct answer so is to be is uh, for the first assumed value to be correct, uh, the resulting value here should be 0. But it is not 0, it is 1.5825. So we will proceed with the value of f prime of x1. f prime of 21. Okay. We will be using this formula, the first derivative. That will be 1 plus 1 over 2, the square root of 21. What will come up? 1 over 2, the square root of 21 is 0 0.1091. Uh, that will be 21. Sorry for that one. 21 square root times 2. This is 1 over x. 0 0.1091 plus 1. So, f prime of 21, or actually f prime of x sub 1 is 1.1091. Okay? So, by using the Newton's uh, formula on how to compute for the next correct value, which is nearer the correct value supposed to be, it will be by using this one. So, it will be x sub 1, f prime of x sub 1, this is plus, the operation here is plus. What comes out there is plus. Because uh, just in case this is minus, uh, we will be placing a minus sign here. Okay? And f prime of 21, it's also a plus. See, all over a plus 1.109. Okay? This is plus, this is plus, uh, this is one under quantity. So if we try to divide this one, a plus in a plus will still be a plus, right? But this is preceded by minus, so it will be minus. And 1.5825 divided by 1.091 is 1.4268 if we try to subtract that to 21 what will come out will be 19.573 uh, what's the significance of this one uh, this uh, x of 2 might be the correct answer now but uh, let's try to check it and how do we check if it's the correct answer we'll go to function of x of 2 we'll go back to this equation here we will substitute the value of x2. So, function of x2, of function of 19.573. Okay, we'll try to substitute it. Uh, we'll pray that the resulting difference will be zero. So, 19.573, we are using this one, right? Plus the square root of 19.573. Am I still on camera? Minus 24. So 19.573. 19.573. Uh, we'll take the square root of that. Uh, that is 4.424. Plus 19.573. Equals. If we try to take the sum of these. The value is uh, 23.997. Okay. So the sum of this one is 23.997 minus 24. And uh, if you don't try to antagonize me, I can say that this 23.997 is almost 24, right? So a 24 minus 24, uh, this is approximately equal to 0. So we could stop it here now. The correct value of x for the given uh, transcendental equation will be x will be 19.573 you got it? ok 19.573 plus the square root of 19.573 is it equal to 24 and actually this is a 19.573 it's here plus uh, 4.424 
is it equal to 24? If we try to take the sum of this, it is 23.997, or that is uh, 24, um, 24 is equal to 24. So the correct value for x, x now will be equal to 19.573. Okay? Okay, that's the solution by using the so-called Newton's method of approximation. Oh, this is a topic on higher mathematics. Like what I said, the equation is transcendental. We could not use the so-called uh, laws of exponents because the operation between the first term and second term is a plus. But just in case this is a multiplication, maybe we could use the ordinary laws of exponents. Okay, uh, good morning from Los Angeles. This is Professor Rebecca Interfere.